back, Kimberly. I'm so excited because today is my maternity photo shoot. Well, at least one of them. We're doing three kind of separate little scenes, little shoots. So we're doing one tonight, this evening at sunset, one tomorrow morning-ish, and then one that evening as well. I might be going a little bit overboard, but you know, I didn't get any maternity photos when I was pregnant with Colette. So I might be overcompensating, but it's fine. But yeah, I got three different outfits, three different locations, three different looks. It's a whole complete different vibe for each of them. And I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me for the whole process from me going to get my nails done to the final photos. So I'm gonna go get my nails done. That is the first thing on my list of things to do today to get ready. Like I said, it's not till sunset, so we have quite a bit of time to get things together, which is good because I did procrastinate everything to the last minute. <laughs> I don't know what color I'm gonna get yet. All of the outfits are very plain and neutral toned, so I was thinking something a little neutral to go with that, so nothing clashes. I don't know, we'll see. But it's been so long since I've had like long acrylic nails i'm not gonna know how to act <laughs> i kind of miss them they were just a lot to keep up with and i don't plan on continuing to keep up with it i really just wanted it for a few weeks for my photo shoot but i don't plan on getting them redone after which is annoying because like when they get to that point where they're like falling off it really hurts and it's really annoying so I don't know what I'm gonna do at that point. I'll probably have to like go in, get them removed, and then just get some like plain polish. But that's what I gotta do if I want long nails for this, and I definitely do. Because my hands are gonna be used quite a bit in this shoe, you know, like holding my bump and everything. So let's get to it. Thank you, bro. Can I get started for you? Hi, can I get um, a small apple greeny um, kale kiwi smoothie? You said a 20 ounce? Yes. Okay. What else can I get for you? That's all. I'm so awkward at ordering. Got myself a little green smoothie because there's no way I'm going to sit through a whole nail appointment without something to snack on. So, got my smoothie and I'm going to go. I really hope it's not too busy because it is Saturday. And I'm trying out a new place so I really wouldn't know. Now that I think about it, I haven't gotten my nails done since I moved to Texas. So... We'll see how this goes. All right, I am all done. I just ended up going with a super neutral nude color and I got the same on my toes. I love the way it turned out and I really miss having nails. They're not as long and as obnoxious as I remember. I did get them kind of short, but I might consider getting them redone after these ones fall off at least until baby girl is born i don't know about like having a newborn and a toddler and having the time to keep up with it it also just makes things a little bit more difficult when it comes to like changing a diaper you know wiping their bums so we'll see but i'm really happy with them as you can see i can't stop using my hands <laughs> now i'm headed to the grocery store to get some flowers because tomorrow we're doing a milk bath and I'm gonna be surrounded by a ton of beautiful flowers. So I'm gonna get them today so that way by tomorrow they're all bloomed and ready. And then I'm gonna head back home and start getting ready. Made it home, got the roses. I was so impressed with all the options they had at HEB. I was not expecting the grocery store to have like so many flowers, but they had a huge flower section. I got all the flowers I needed. I still need a flower crown. I could try and make a flower crown out of what I have. I don't know. I did get some like little tiny white flowers. So if I can't find a flower crown, I think I'm just gonna like braid my hair like this and then just stick little like white flowers in my hair. I don't know. That's not until tomorrow though, so for now, I need to get ready for this photo shoot. I think I might do a braid thing for this one as well though. Um, I don't wanna just like leave it down. I mean, my front pieces are always like the most annoying when it comes to like not being wavy. I bought a waver. I bought this just for this shoot. I never really use heat on my hair, but 
I wanted to do something with it, but I didn't want to curl it and I didn't want to straighten it. So I got this and we're just going to make some beach waves. It's my first time doing this. So hopefully it turns out well. And like I said, my hair is already pretty wavy. So I'm going to wave like whatever I feel like isn't wavy enough. And then we'll figure out what I'm doing for like the style. I also have this little bandana. I just remember that this matches my dress. Hi, Colette. We're going to do your hair next, okay? I promise. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. This little scarf thing matches my dress. So maybe we'll do something with this. We'll see. But I'm going to get waving. Should probably plug this in. <laughs> Not going to do much for me right now. All right, we have reached maximum heat. I don't really know how much to do. I don't really know how to do this. I'm scared. It's hot. Okay. I mean, she's wavy. It did not lie. This is going to be a very long process. I don't think you guys understand how much hair I have. I literally have to like section it off to like four sections when I like actually do it. Which is why I never do my hair. I don't know if I should be doing sections like this big. Let's see. It might get done faster if this will work. Yeah, no. That's not gonna work. <sighs> this is gonna take at least an hour, so I will get back to you when I'm almost done. All right, it is done. I honestly skipped like large sections of my hair because it's already naturally pretty wavy. I mean, like, this is all natural, and then the top part is from the waiver. But here's the back. Landon had to help me out with that part. And I think I'm gonna try and do something with this, play around with it a little bit, and see how it turns out. So I don't know if it'd be cuter to do like a headband moment or like a bow moment. I think I'm gonna try for a headband. Okay, that turned out super well. I'm gonna get the dress and kind of hold it up and just kind of see the look, envision it a little better. Oh, I love it. Here, I'm gonna take the glasses off. Well, now I can't see myself in the mirror, but from what I can see, the little blur looks pretty good. Hair is done, time for my makeup. getting ready here is the final look got my makeup on my dress the bump we are running very late so we gotta head out all right we made it here it is so beautiful this is judy my photographer Hello. she came all the way from canada i did she did and we're really excited to get started we're running out of sunlight though it's kind of foggy and cloudy so we're really just racing against time here Stand 
stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know So we got some shots, Colette was not really happy. We woke her up from a nap to get her out here, so she's mad and it looks like it's about to rain. So we're gonna get the last little shot, which is me in the water all dramatically. Hopefully this is worth it. I think it will be. It's gonna be really cold though, so here I go. All in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes on it. Honestly don't I should be the last to know We did it. I am all wet. But it was a success. They turned out so good. And that was just like on her little camera screen, not even edited. I'm so excited to see how they turn out. It was really cold at first, but honestly, after a second, it really wasn't that bad. But that wraps it up for today. We're gonna get home, get warm, get dry. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next day of shooting. Hello guys, it is the next day. I just got ready and we're about to get started with the second shoot. So this one's very just cozy, comfortable, honestly a really accurate representation of how this pregnancy has been so far. I'm in a little pajama set, got the belly out in this little crop sweater. So here's my outfit and we're just gonna get started. I'm on my little chair <laughs> and this is kind of the setup for the first little shot. I'm just gonna take some cute little pictures by the window. The shoot is going really well, definitely a lot better than yesterday as far as Colette cooperating. And it's just been so chill and laid back. I think because we're in our own home and she's familiar with where she's at, it's really easy for her to just like get comfortable and just cuddle with us. So we really got some good family shots here today, which I'm really happy about. And we're getting close to being done. We're going to wrap up probably here in the next like 20 minutes or so. There's just a few more little shots that we need. One of them being a little name reveal moment. We have a little onesie that says her name on it and I'm gonna take some pictures with it. Super cute and it like matches my little bralette. So it'll be adorable. I'm so excited for you guys to see that. But yeah, we're getting really close to being done and then it'll be time to start getting ready for the milk bath, which is personally the one that I'm most excited about. I've never done a milk bath before and I just think it's gonna be so beautiful. So it's kind of like the grand finale on top of this little photo shoot. That is a wrap for this photo shoot. It went so well, I'm so excited. The name reveal pictures are adorable. And we got some super cute, intimate, more like couple-ish ones of me and Landon. Couldn't have asked for this to go better. And now I need to get all glammed up for the final shoot. I'm just gonna kinda add to my eye makeup, make it more dramatic, and then try my best to do something with my hair. I'm not the best at braiding, but I kind of had the idea of like doing two little braids back, putting some flowers in my hair. I'm 
my braiding skills are worse than I thought and I'm also not the best at like winged eyeliner so I think I'm actually gonna finish getting ready when I get there we're actually going to my aunt and uncle's house and my sister's there right now and she'll just help me finish up my makeup and my hair but they have a bathtub in their backyard that was actually just kind of there when they moved in so we're gonna clean that out and put it all together and start the shoot. So I'm just gonna start gathering all my stuff. I got my outfit, I'll show you guys everything. And then we need to head out. So this is what I'm wearing with just like a nude bra underneath. I think it's gonna be so pretty. Especially when I like get in the milk bath and it becomes really see-through and you can really see like the flowers on my stomach. It's gonna be adorable. We made it, I just got my eyeliner done. Still need to do my lashes, my hair. But here's the bathtub. It is filling up. Obviously we haven't put the milk in it yet. It is kind of gross right now, but it's fine. We cleaned it. It's just stained. But yeah, we're just doing the finishing touches. We need to cut up the flowers, put the milk in, and then I'll be ready to hop in. Extremely warm. What? Yeah. No, it's not. Are you joking? Is it warm? No, it's not. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just trying to get you to I thought you in. got me like some warm water and I was like, oh, he found some warm water for me. No. Nope. You're rude. Sink water. Sink water. It's okay. I'm already cold. I'm not even in yet. Are you going to hop in the shower when you get out here? I mean, I'm going to be covered in milk. So, yeah. Yeah. I almost want to pour a little bit more milk in here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. We're gonna take out as we need. I'm just gonna kind of yeah. start. I'm just in the bath. I'm just having a bath. You see the flowers? She's so concerned for me. We're in the bath. In the bath. <laughs> okay, so obviously I can bump up my light in the light room. Should I do like some a little bit more above water and then kind of get in deeper? Yeah, I'm gonna pretty much get you right on in after. I'm just gonna get a couple, both hands on the belly. Perfect. Look right at me. Okay, I am gonna have you get right on in. I think that's the main focus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I may have you even put your lights over a little bit more so your head's kind of more comfortable. Okay, do you want me to put your hair down? Yeah. If you want to tap out, you let us know. Okay. You're going to smell like milk on the way home. <laughs> this is so... You actually, yeah, bend, yeah, bend your legs like that. Perfect. These are freaking gorgeous. I'm going to have one hand kind of up by your hair. You look right at me. I may have you bum scooch just a little bit down because your neck looks very bent in. All right, I am all done. It was a success, and I'm really cold and covered in milk, but. That wraps up my maternity photo shoot. Huge shout out to my photographer. <laughs> she did an amazing job and I cannot wait to see how these turn out. I'm ready for it. These are gonna be amazing. Uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna go clean up. <laughs> I am all dry. Well, actually not that dry. My hair's still wet, but I'm all clean and I don't have any more milk on me. I had a shower and we are at dinner having some fried yeah. chicken because it's their last night in Texas and they had to have some Texas fried chicken before they leave. And Colette is playing with her new friend. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> He's sharing straws, you're so sweet. 
Go forward. Go forward. I'm a hunger sensor. <laughs> I wonder what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Everything fried. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Texas way. 100%. <laughs> Colette just realized that this fish was hanging on the wall. And she's terrified. <laughs> it's okay. Daddy's got you. Is it a baby shark? It's just a baby shark. Baby shark do 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 We made it back from dinner and I just gotta say that they're the sweetest little family ever. She's just such a kind soul and just a real genuine person. And not only that, she's an amazing photographer. She just sent me a few sneak peeks and I'm literally blown away. Just pure talent. I am so happy with the way that they turned out. Way better than I could even expect. And definitely so worth jumping in water twice. And it was just so comfortable and easy to shoot with her. I always get my photos done by my mom because she's a photographer. So I was kind of nervous to do a photo shoot with someone else. But she just made shooting such an amazing experience. We had so much fun. And she really helped to get me out of my comfort zone. And as a result, we got some amazing photos. So I'm just seriously blown away. Like I said earlier, she lives in Canada. She's located in Ontario, but she is a traveling photographer. So if any of you guys want to get photographed by her, I definitely recommend. I will link her down below if you want to check her out. Anyways, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope you guys liked seeing the behind the scenes of my little photo shoot. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video, Camille. Okay,